Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy that you all arrived on time. A few housekeeping things. We have to take seats. Everybody in the back, we are not allowed to stand here. Please take a seat. We have seats available here in the front row. Please take a seat. And then I would like all of you to give a warm and strong applause for the governing mayor of the city of Berlin, Kai Wegner. Yeah, thank you very much. Good morning at the Red Town Hall. I like the startup feeling in this house. State Secretary Professor Soon, Dr. Hauptvogel, Mr. Kurita, Dr. Xu, Excellently, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. As governing mayor of Berlin and chair of the Asia Berlin Summit 2023 Advisory Board, I'm very pleased to welcome you. This is the very first international conference I'm opening at the Red Town Hall. For the first time since 2011, the summit, formerly known as the Asia Pacific Weeks, has returned to the Red Town Hall. For the first time since 2011, the summit formerly known, oh, <laughs> this was the wrong part, sorry. <laughs> it's Red Town Hall. It, wa it was opened here only once at its premiere in 1997 by former governing mayor Eberhard Diebken. I'm delighted to have the chance to continue this tradition. The Asia Berlin Summit deserves this honor. We will continue to build ties between Berlin and the most dynamic startup ecosystems in Asia. We believe this is the best interest for our economy and prosperity. We also want to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals together with the most innovative players in Asia and Europe, which is another reason for strengthening cooperation with partners in Asia. Our aim is to secure a livable future in our planet for people, animals and plants. That's why we choose the motto, Innovating Now for a Positive Future, for this year's summit. We will look at these innovations in greater detail with the focus topics, mobility and logistics, energy transition and green tech, and artificial intelligence. Under mobility, we will addressing topics that especially affect cities and their complex infrastructure. How can mobility systems be people and business friendly? How can the ecological, how can they ecological and smart? With its transport, mobility and logistics clusters, Berlin can offer excellent possibilities for international cooperation. In this context, we are banking on strong stakeholders such as Mercedes, Tesla, hubs like the Drivery and Motion Lab, and 550 other startups. Energy transition and green tech covers the key topics of climate action. One of the top priorities of the Berlin Senate. Here, too, cities around the world are the focus of attention because of their fossil fuel consumption. 
At the same time, the cities and their innovative companies, companies are also laboratories where solutions are developed. The Berlin Energy Cluster and countless green tech companies look forward to working with Asian partners. Of course, almost every innovation today is powered by artificial intelligence. We knew that even before the sensational, sensational launch of Shed GPT, yet this neural network has added on entirely new dimension to AI and is opening up new possibilities for application. Berlin is Germany's and Europe's center for AI companies and hubs. On this note, I would like to highlight the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence, the KI Park, and the Marantix AI Campus, which is also a partner of the Asia Berlin Summit. The fact that the president of the Asia Berlin Forum, Dr. Xu, built SAP's AI division from here in Berlin and is managing the, its business from here is a testament to that. There's no doubt that many Asian players, for instance in India or China, would be a perfect fit for cooperation on the development and application of AI. Innovations like these should not be an end in themselves, but should serve the aim of creating a livable future in the line with the UN SDGs. I'm delighted that, once again, many speakers, particip participants, and delegations from Asia have traveled to Berlin, Berlin for this year's summit. I'm especially pleased that our guest of honor, Professor Sun, State Secretary for Innovation, Techno Technology, and Industry, is here with us today from Hong Kong. Just like Berlin, Hong Kong is a city-state with a unique profile and a strong partner for cooperation in the areas of innovation and startups. At the same time, Hong Kong is an important gateway to main mainland China for many startups in Berlin, besides Shanghai and other, our partner city, Beijing. Another key partner is India. Cooperation between Asia Berlin and the subcontinent started in Bengaluru and the state of Karnataku. Since then, it was expanded across India to Mumbai, Delhi, Hyderabad, and many other cities. You will see that India is strongly represented of this year's summit, and rightly so. Cooperation with startups in Japan is growing too. Starting out in our partner city, Tokyo, Activities are picking up steam across the island. Japanese startups in the high-tech sector, like the Korean counterparts, are especially interesting for Berlin. Another important regional focus is on the Southeast Asia. In addition to our partner city, Jakarta, and Indonesia in general especially Singapore, the Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, and Malaysia are key partners for us. We are pleased that all these countries and big cities understand the need for their startup scenes to build international networks. We are glad that Europe is slowly steep stepping out of the shadow in the US with its Silicon Valley. And we are pleased 
that this had led decision makers in business and politics to also shift their focus to Europe. Together with our partner cities, London and Paris, Berlin is certainly the top destination in Europe for many Asian startups and investors. Along, alongside the Asia Berlin Summit, the Tech Week is coming up this week in London, the Viva Tech in Paris, and the TNW in Amsterdam. These technology festivals are inviting our Asian guests to broaden their experience with Europe and to draw comparisons. And Berlin can easily stand the comparison. Unlike London, Berlin offers access to the European single market. Our city boosts attractive living conditions too. That's not only interesting for the workforce, but also for companies competing for skilled labor internationally. They will, be, they will still be able to find relat relatively affordable office and production space in Berlin. In comparison to, per to Paris, Berlin's ecosystem scores with a more widespread use of the English language, making it even more international and diverse. That makes it more accessible for talent from abroad. Compared to Paris, Berlin also benefits from lower prices and available land. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our main sponsors, the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office, Mitsubishi Electric and Siemens for their support of this year's summit. My personal thanks go to State Secretary Professor Sun, Mr. Karita and Dr. Hauptvogel, whom we will welcome to the stage in a moment. My thanks also go to the Asia Berlin Forum for organizing the Asia Berlin Summit, especially to President Dr. Xu, but also to the entire board and their team. You will have the chance to hear Dr. Xu speak about AI tomorrow. Thanks to the Asia Berlin team at the Senate Department for Economic Affairs, Energy and Public Enterprises. They have been actively engaged in supporting the summit organization. Last but not least, a big thank you to the Asia Berlin ambassadors in Berlin and Asia. Your voluntary service and your passion are the heart of the Asia Berlin community. This community of committed and motivated people is the engine behind Asia Berlin. In this spirit, I wish us all exciting insights and productive exchange, which will hopefully be the beginning of many new concrete projects. Let us continue our long-standing cooperation to boost the economy and enhance prosperity with an enormous social and ecological impact on the future. Thank you very much and a good conference. Thank you, Mr. Wegener. And now I have the pleasure to invite to the stage the president of the Asia Berlin Forum, Fei Zhu. Governing Major Kai Wegner, 
State Secretary Professor Sun, Mr. Kurita, Dr. Hauptvogel, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. As president of Asian Berlin Forum, I want to welcome you to our Asian Berlin Summit 2023. In particular, I want to express my big thanks to Governing Mayor Kai Wegner and the Senate Chancellor and the Senate Department for Economic, Energy, and the Public Enterprises. Furthermore, I want to take this opportunity to thank our main sponsors, the Hong Kong Economic and the Trade Office, Mitsubishi Electric, and Siemens for your support for our this year's summit. Moreover, we are so grateful for the collaboration with our partners, as mentioned by Mr. Wigner already. All of you, as supporters of Asian Berlin Forum, have made this summit possible. As an AI expert, I'm on the one hand excited about the huge advances in generative AI. On the other hand, as we discussed already, have deep concerns about the open problems and the challenges. AI will transform our businesses, our economies, and our societies. This will be not an easy work. Most of the existing problems and potential threats cannot be solved by delaying the AI adoption. We should continue with research and development and innovation. And of course, they cannot only be solved by regulation alone. As in the areas of energy, transportation, or medicine, the solutions will also come through with technological progress. This translates into immense tasks. It demands the dedicated cooperation among us of business, research, politics, and the civil society. Tomorrow, as announced by Mr. Wegner, I'm going to give a keynote about unleashing the power of AI. And I'm looking forward to talking to you about your ideas, um, challenges, and opportunities. I wish you a great Asian Berlin Summit. Thank you so much. So I think we're getting ready. My name is Stefan Balzer. You will have the pleasure with me for two days. I will try to keep everything on time um, and um, you know, see that we have the maximum output um, in these two days. And there's some things you need to know that are logistics before we kick off the conference. So first, and I have a long list that I have to uh, present to you. Um, remember, we have a lot of partners. Uh, we have booths outside an exhibition area. So I would like to ask all of you to visit them, talk to them. Asia Berlin is about connecting. Asia Berlin is about bridging this city with all the innovative regions in Asia. So we want you to connect, meet new people. I will come back to this later on. I will ask you how many new faces you have met in the course of the two days. I will. Also, if you have not seen it, we have free Wi-Fi here. You can see those signs uh, outside as well. We uh, have a photo wall. Please use the photo wall. Share it on social media, wherever you can. Um, don't be surprised if there is a film team approaching you and asking you maybe for a short interview. They are all good. They are with us. They are not from, you know, no strange people. So uh, we control everything. So you can talk about everything. So. 
uh, the next thing is we have two evening receptions. Tonight, uh, we have the pleasure that um, our mayor, Kai Wegner, will invite us here and host an evening reception. And tomorrow, as well, here in the Rote Rathaus, we will have the reception hosted by the German-Japanese uh, Forum. We also have workshops happening. I will announce those workshops for some people that might be interested. We have one today, and we have two workshops happening outside in a special area um, during those two days. Anything I forgot, let me check. Yes, oh, last but not least, we have an interesting hunt. We have an NFT hunt that is happening here. I tried to explain what I understood when they told me what it is. So what you will see, you will probably see QR codes popping up here in some areas. Some might be even hidden in your lunch bag. So you can scan those QR codes and you, collect, you can collect NFTs. And there's a, you know, a little uh, price uh, behind it if you collect all of them. So this is the NFT hunt happening here in those two days. So I think we're ready for the program. Are we ready for the program to kick off? Yeah. All right, thank you.